Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and Club Cool is set to reopen today along with the new creation shop. So I decided to come out, drink some soda, ride some rides, and enjoy an afternoon in Epcot. Anywho's, let's go do this. And just like that, everything changed. The temporary Mouse Gears location is now closed and the Creation Shop along with Club Cool is open. And it looks like there's a very long line, so we better just hop right on into it. If you're not sure what Club Cool is, it's a place where you can go get free samples of soda from all around the world. So you'll have a chance to drink soda from Italy, from Japan, from China, and it's all free. Just little tiny sample cups, so everybody's very excited to see it come back. Here it is, and like I said, it looks like a very long, long line. You have the Creation Shop over there, and then the Club Cool here, and I'm not sure which is which. Actually, I think the Creation Shop has no line, and this is all just for Club Cool. That is exactly how it is. There are no lines to get in the Creation Shop, and a 45 to an hour wait to get in Club Cool. Now, I got here, uh, I think just about an hour after the park opened, and I can imagine if you just got here when the park opened, it was probably a race to get here, but I guess it paid off because now there's an hour wait just to get some free soda, and you bet I'm gonna be waiting that hour line. And I'm gonna hop right in line right now because like I said, I think it's gonna be a pretty long wait. Maybe up to 45 to an hour. So I'll time in and let you guys know once we get up there. There it is. We've been in line for just about 25 minutes and every time that door opens, I can feel the AC just coming out and hitting me. And I just wanna be in there so badly. We have hit the 45 minute mark and we're about another maybe 10, 15 minutes away. So an hour was very accurate. And uh, yeah, I'm getting thirsty. So I'm happy that we're going into a place that has free beverages. And here we are. We have made it to Club Cool. <laughs> I am so excited to drink some soda and also just enjoy the atmosphere of being back inside Club Cool. And listen, it's not even sticky floors yet. Speaking of the floors not being sticky yet, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the floor is actually a bunch of broken glasses from Coca-Cola bottles. And you can actually see Coca-Cola labels inside the floor. It's gonna be hard to spot out any of the labels, but I know I've seen some of them in here, but this is all glass. How awesome is that? Looks like they've got six different soda stations and you line up and get assigned a soda station and that's where you can take your mask off and try all the different flavors. And I like the way they do this actually. Before it was kind of just a madhouse. I like this organized. This is, it's actually very efficient. Looks like the only soda to return from the old club pool is the Beverly. The Beverly is back and it's the only one that came back. And here are all the different flavors, all from different areas around the world. We've got Italy with Beverly. We've got Madagascar with the Bon Bon. <laughs> we got Madagascar with the Bon Bon. Bon Bon's gonna love this. And then they got Dominican Republic with a country club. And then Korea has a Minute Maid apple. I've actually had this apple soda before. And Philippines has a royal watermelon. And then China has a smart sour plum. I think that one is gonna be a little bit special. And then Russia has a Sprite. Uh, and I believe this is like a cucumber Sprite. And then this one is a Viva Raspberry, a raspberry soda. So these are all looking really, really delicious and I'm gonna try them all. First things first, the watermelon. Only because that one kind of piqued my interest the most. Cheers, Royal Watermelon. Oh wow, that is so good. I miss the carrot soda. That was my old favorite one, but this is so, so good. Watermelon is definitely probably gonna be my favorite. Now we're gonna try China. Now this is a smart sour plum. So this is gonna be a little suspect, I have to say. Oop, and I missed the cup completely. There we go. Let it fizzle down a little bit. Don't wanna get all the foam. It says it has a savory, sweet, tart flavor to it. So <laughs> here we go. Oh, 
That is definitely the new Beverly. That is really the new Beverly. Oh, I can definitely taste the savory in there and a little bit of sweet. Did you just try the, the China one? Oh, oh. I mean, it's, it's definitely, uh, kind of tastes like barbecue. To be honest, it tastes like a barbecue potato chip. That's a good way to put it. I think I need to actually wash out the taste of the China Smart Sour Plum and I'm gonna get a Beverly. <laughs> I know that's so funny. Beverly isn't that bad. It is good to cleanse the palate, so it's gonna do its purpose here because that literally just tastes like a bad barbecue chip. Beverly for all. See, cleansing the palate. So delicious. This isn't, like I said, this isn't that bad. Now let's try some Minute Maid, some apple. Oop, I am missing every single time here. There we go. That's good. Not as good as the watermelon though, but it is still very good. It's a very sweet soda. Now it's on to the bonbon. This is for you, bonbon. Let's line this up. I'm not too sure what this is. Oh, this is a blend of tropical flute. Tropical flute flavors. Fruit flavors. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I like the bonbon better than the watermelon. Wow, bonbon's really gonna like the bonbon. This is really, really good. Wow. Yeah, Madagascar for the win. Now we're gonna try the cucumber Sprite from Russia, Mother Russia. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Oh, that's good. It's very refreshing. Like that is really, really refreshing. Now we only got the Country Club and then the Viva, which is the raspberry. So I think we'll do the Country Club first. This one is actually orange, so this might be the closest to the carrot soda. Wow, that's really unique. I like this one. I don't know what it actually tastes like though. It kind of just tastes sweet and delicious. Last but not least, I don't know why I say last but not least. I have no idea if this is gonna be any good or not. It might be the least, but the raspberry soda. Oh, it's very raspberry-ish. I like that. I still think my favorite is probably the bonbon. Like the bonbon was really, really good. And my least favorite is the China one. The barbecue chip. I don't know why I keep saying. If, if you guys do try it, let me know what you think it tastes like. But I really kind of get barbecue out of that. I know that sounds so crazy, but I don't know. It's just how it is. Let me know in the comments which one you think you would like the most, or if you've tried them, which one you did like the most. And now we're just going to explore around a little bit more. And uh, there's not much in here, just a lot of Coca-Cola merchandise and some frozen beverages over here. They have ice cream floats that you can purchase, and they used to be able to give out little samples of the frozen drinks, but they don't do that anymore. Uh, so if you do want one of the ice cream floats, you have to purchase it, and they have uh, different soft serve ice creams, and you can pair them with whatever float that you want or whatever soda that they have. So it's five dollars and forty nine cents. You prepare your choice of fountain beverage and then vanilla soft serve, and they also have frozen lemonade. And I think they have a frozen red beverage too. I don't know what that is. They don't have it on the uh, menu, but I wish I could try some of those. But it's not like the olden days. Now that we got our soda fixed, it's time to head on into Creations. And I'm excited, maybe there's some Epcot merchandise still left over and I can try to get one of those fancy shirts. So this is gonna be basically replacing Mouse Gears and I'm happy to see a new shop. Oh, it looks really bright and nice in here. And take a look at this. Paging Mr. Morrow in the new shop here at Epcot. How fancy is that? You like it? Are you getting one? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. And there is a lot of other amazing things. And I'm going to try to show you all the new Epcot merchandise. And here is a lot of the new Epcot merchandise. We've got the mugs. We've got the jackets, which these jackets look so, so cool. I really, really like these jackets. I'm not too sure how I feel about this texture up here. But 
I bet you this would be real fun to wear at night. And a lot of this stuff is actually gonna light up. I think that's what they were showing. And I'm not too sure how much this is. Probably $69.99. Like that's gonna be my fair guess, but we'll find out. The jacket is $80 and it runs super big. So I'm not too sure if I'm gonna get it or if I should just stick to the shirt because I really like the shirt. You can kind of see the shirt reflecting right now in the light and I think that is so awesome. You see it like on the sleeves? It depends on how the light hits it. As you get close, it'll go away, do you see? That is really awesome. These shirts reflect as well and I just like the fabric and material. So I think I'm actually gonna get one of these and these are $36.99 compared to the uh, $80 price tag for the jacket. Along with the shirts and jackets, they do have the first ever rechargeable Disney ears and these are so so cool they've got the spaceship earth actual symbol on it and these are gonna be so pretty when they light up at night and then like I said before they had the puzzle the coffee mugs they've got the water bottles all, so many amazing things even pants the pants look good too and they match the shirts I would get one of these hats but I'm not a big fan of these hats but they probably look really cool at night as well there's a lot of good Epcot merchandise, that's all I gotta say. And limit two per item. It is really, really big in here. It's not as big as the old mouse gears though, I have to say. I thought it was gonna be uh, like a little bit larger and I miss all of the mouse gear like decor. I miss seeing all the Disney characters, even though I like the way that the lighting is in here and I love the murals on the wall. It's not really mouse gears though. I also like this Epcot jacket. This is really, really nice and a lot lighter than the other uh, white one. Oh, I like the colors in it, it's super bright. I probably, it's probably a lot cheaper too. <laughs> uh, the other one was $80, this one is $69.99, but this one's so much brighter. Even though I do love the old mouse gears, I really love this mural though. I mean, it is so wonderful. And also the statues up there, and they added a little fitting rooms over here. I didn't see that before. I don't know if they're open yet, but this is really, really nice in here. Plenty of annual pass holder ears are back in stock, along with all the other figment items. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of growing on me a little bit, I have to say. The mural's doing it for me. Well, I ended up making a purchase. I had to get the coat. I figure maybe I will use it the one day of the year where it's really, really cold in Florida, or uh, whenever I go back up to Pennsylvania, I can actually wear it, and I love it. This coat is so cool. It has like a weird fabric in the sleeves here, kind of like a rain coat, but I just love the way it looks, and I figured if I was gonna buy uh, the other jacket that was $69.99, then I should just get this one for 80 because I really, really do like it. Now, I don't think I'm gonna be wearing it around. I just wanted to try it on now. It is a little bit, uh, it runs a little big actually. So I went uh, two sizes down from what I normally get and I like the way it fits now. It feels comfortable, but I'm gonna take it off, put it back in the bag and we are gonna explore around Epcot now. We came in the other way and we're exiting out this way and I kind of like this way a little bit better because you get a little bit of a look at Spaceship Earth and everything actually coming about. And also I noticed they opened up a new popcorn stand over here. How fancy is that? I really, really like how everything's coming together here. Ooh, and they got the Bud Light and the Yingling there. I just wanted to try the jacket on and take some fancy photos with it. But now, like I said, I'm gonna put it back in the bag and we're gonna break that out hopefully in a couple of weeks because it's gonna get colder eventually in Florida. And uh, now I think we're gonna head into World Showcase. Some of the 50th uh, golden uh, statues are actually popping up here at Epcot. And I wouldn't mind checking some of those out as well. Like take a look at this guy right here. Figment getting his own statue right before you actually head into World Showcase and I love these statues Like I said when I went to Magic Kingdom, I wasn't a big fan But they've really grown on me and there's a couple more around here, too So we'll keep our eyes peeled but the Epcot one I mean the uh, figment one is probably gonna be my favorite in Epcot as far as I know, nothing really sold out. Uh, the only thing that did sell out though, there is one thing that did sell out and that's the backpack. And they said hopefully some will be back tomorrow, but I really wasn't looking for that. I ended up getting my jacket and I'm happy with that. And uh, yeah, now I actually feel like I can put it back on because it's a little bit breezy. But once I put it back on, I'd probably be like, all right, I gotta take this off 20 minutes later. So we're just gonna keep it in the bag. 
As we move a little bit closer into World Showcase, we can see some statues from Coco, and look at Dante. Dante actually might be my favorite other than Figment. Figment's gonna come number one for me, but Dante, definitely a close second. Just look at him. Look at that face. After checking out the statues over in World Showcase, and ultimately deciding that Figment is probably my favorite one, I think we're gonna actually head on over and ride Figment. I haven't done it in a while, and it'd be nice to get out of the heat and uh, just go for a little ride and journey into imagination. Look at Joy. Look at her, she's actually picking up trash. What a champ. Full of joy, hi Joy! <laughs> oh, I love it. That was really fun seeing Joy out there picking up trash. And now it's time to head on to Journey into Imagination. And it doesn't look like there's a wait time at all. Oh my lord, I can feel the AC and it feels so amazing. Oh, so, so good. Hi friends, how are you? Oh, good, good. Life, always. <laughs> are you guys answering a lot of calls today? Looks like the phone lines are pretty busy. <laughs> Good luck. I don't think I've ever seen cast members sitting behind the desk there. That was the first time for that. Today's theme is how to capture your imagination with Dr. Nigel Channing. our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Michael Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> shows that smells often trigger the imagination, especially when pleasant, familiar smells come to play. Yes, come into play? <laughs> I'd love to! Segment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times I was happy to go do a little ride on Figment. After getting my jacket and being in the store, I was feeling a little Epcot-y. epcot -y. doesn't that sound funny? But I was feeling like a lot of Epcot nostalgia. And even though this isn't like the original uh, Journey into Imagination, it's still a very epcot -y ride. Like I can't think of anybody else, Epcot. Figment is the uh, like face of Ep Epcot, I believe. Like he is everything Epcot. And as soon as we get done with Epcot, Take a look at this, a little monorail action. I love seeing the monorail in Epcot. I, it's been such a long time we went without seeing it and every time I hear it coming by, I just gotta stop and appreciate it. Oh, and look at this, now Pooh Bear is outside. Looks like he's catching some butterflies. This is actually where the butterfly tent used to be, so it's funny that he has that butterfly uh, net. I love it, look at him. He's trying to catch him. Look at him. He's going in for it. When he's a poo. <laughs> oh! Yay. He got it. He got away. Oh! 
now I think I'm gonna hop over to the other side of World Showcase or the other side of Future World and I'm gonna check up on the Space 220 restaurant. It's set to actually open next week, actually September 20th. How funny it's opening on September 20th and it's Space 220. So I wanna see if there's any progress there and maybe stop at one of the food and wine booths that are there, get ourselves a little snack. We could stop here and get something from Flavors from Fire. They do have the chimichurri up offense, which is a charred chimichurri steak on a smoked corn cake with pickled vegetable slaw and cilantro aioli. And I think that sounds pretty good. I have had the corned beef before and the s'mores whoopie pie. So that's going to be the only thing I haven't gotten before. And I guess why not? Might as well. I ended up actually getting the steak, but I didn't get it with the pickled vegetable. So all I have is basically steak on a corn pancake and I'm excited because they cooked the steak right there and it looks like it's a really really good steak and it was seven dollars and I don't know it's not that big it's actually very tiny I'm gonna try to maybe fold it like a taco no nope. I'm gonna eat it just like that I don't think you can fold it yeah because it's too thick like the steak is so just like that kind of like an open face sandwich that is surprisingly delicious like very very good and it's plain jane but i love it i can taste the chimichurri on there and the corn cake is so so good very good now that we got ourselves a little snack i want to swing back and see what the line is like to get in club cool now did it get busier or did people wait and actually now there's not too much of a line so we're gonna find out oh yeah looks like it's just about the same amount of people waiting so just about an hour probably people are going to be in line for this. I think I started right here and it was an hour. So it makes sense, you know? I'm happy that we actually went when we did uh, because it's definitely gotten a lot hotter out and there's no more wind. So like earlier while we were waiting in there, for some reason there's always a nice wind tunnel that actually goes through there. So it keeps you kind of cool. But right now it's probably so hot and just sitting there for about an hour like I did earlier, I would not want to be there right now. Now we're starting to make our way back out to the exit, but before we go, maybe we'll take a ride on Spaceship Earth. It looks like there's no wait at all, and I love it. I mean, I'm all decked out in Epcot. Like, I'm really feeling Epcot today. Look at all the lights. This is really, oh man, I'm excited for everything to be lit up for the 50th anniversary. I hope it happens by then. Enjoy the ride. Can't pass up Spaceship Earth when it's a walk-on like this. Even though it is a walk-on like this quite often, I still like to just come and smell Rome burning. I can literally smell it from here and it just smells so amazing. Oh, the sliding doors on our time machine are gonna close on their own. Any second now. Any, oh, there it is. Magic. <laughs> I like how they're spacing people out on here and they're not cramming everyone together. So like that uh, party's up there and then they skip two and then put me in. I think they did that for every one of them. Your time machine will slowly rotate back and they stop.
makes America proud with four gold medals at the 1936 Olympics in Berlin. In perhaps the biggest news story of 1923, a few... you go a nice little spin on spaceship earth to cap off the evening not too shabby but i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it i'm sorry that i wasn't able to film inside the store as much as i wanted to it was very crowded in there and uh, i was just lucky enough to grab the things i wanted to get and get out and just kind of appreciate it a little bit but i'm happy that club cool is back because that was something i was really missing and i wish my mom and sister were here i did get my sister to try beverly but i would love to get my mom to try beverly Beverly and uh, yeah we'll definitely have to come revisit when they come back down and uh, yeah I'm probably gonna be revisiting it myself quite often because I really do like it in there it's free soda at Epcot you can't go wrong anywho's like I said I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye